is there a hidden message behind Drake's cover art for his new album? This theory says yes. Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That'd be much appreciated. YouTube hates me, so I need all I can get. Also, we are sponsored by ExpressVPN. You'll learn more about that at the end of the video. But first, we're going to get straight into it. So today we're talking about Drake, okay? Drake has a new album coming out called Certified Lover Boy, all right? And everyone's really anticipating this. The evidence that we have, it's not a whole lot, but it actually makes a lot of sense when you put it into context, okay? But first, we're going to talk about what the theory is, right? What the theory currently is, all right? So the current theory is that Drake's album cover is referencing the fact that it took him nine months to develop it and get it finished and ready to go, all right? So keep this in mind. Drake's cover, um, or excuse me, Drake's album comes out September 3rd. And he's been working on this album since about January of 2021. That is nine months of development, right? And what else takes nine months of development? A human baby. <laughs> you see the connection? I don't think that's it though. I think that, you know, just because his album took nine months to get here, so he put the pregnant women, uh, also it's coming out near Labor Day, right? Labor babies, right? No, no, no. I think it's deeper than that. I believe that he is expecting another child. That's right. So remember, he has a son currently named Adonis. Now, keep in mind, Adonis was that kid that he held away from the world. He didn't want the world to know about it. And Pusha T ended up coming out with a whole diss track about how he had a son that no one knew about, and he was a deadbeat dad. So now we know about his son. I believe that this album is actually supposed to announce the birth or the expectation of his new child, right? Now, I know, like, you guys are probably sitting there like, okay, there's no way that would make sense. He hid his first son. Why would he come out and talk about his new son or daughter like this? This seems weird. But I'll explain it to you, okay? Drake obviously knows that there are people in his camp who sell information, all right? Keep in mind, how in the world did Pusha T even know that he had a son? His secret of his son, the secret of his son, was kept under wraps so well that no one knew about it for years. Mind you, by the time we found out, the boy was about two years old, okay? So obviously the secret was well kept until Pusha T started to dig into his camp and found out information, this and that, and put it on his diss track, right? So imagine you're Drake. Imagine how concerning this is for you. Should I be in the position to A, hide this child from the world like I did last time and hope to God that no one spreads the information that I have this child? Or should I go ahead and release the information on a very anticipated album where everybody is excited to listen to it and get tabloids talking about this child that I soon will be or already have? All right, A or B? Me, B makes more sense. I would rather release the information on a very hotly anticipated album so that all the tabloids can talk about the song where I talk about my new child. It's a huge, huge, huge opportunity for marketing, all right? Now remember, Pusha T took that opportunity away from Drake when the diss track came out, right? So in Drake's mind, he has to consider, and I'm sure his publicist probably said the same thing, your job right now is to get it out to the people. I believe that the album was held back and pushed back as long as it was because his, whoever he was with, became pregnant. And I think at that point he was like, okay, I need to kind of switch up the concept of this album. I need to figure out what the next steps are. And boom, he, con he, he came up with a concept. So he released the cover art, which is a bunch of pregnant women on it, right? And he decided to do it within nine months of him conceptualizing the album, and of course, near Labor Day. Now, I think, once again, all that leads to the signs that he is having a child, or already had one. So, am I right? I have no idea, right? And I'm sure you're looking at this like, no, it, it, there's no way. But there's another piece of evidence that I have. Guys, I'm not, I don't just come to you with lacking evidence, all right? I don't just come to you with these theories, and it's like, oh, he just thought about this just in, on a whim, and now he's talking about it. No, I actually developed all these concepts, guys, from ground up, okay? <laughs> no, it took me about 10 minutes to come up with this, but the other piece of evidence is this. According to Merriam-Webster, you know, the dictionary, 
They classify a lover boy as a man who is a lover to many women or who has sexual relations with a lot of women. Now, depending on where you're from, a lot of people consider a lover boy to be somebody who has a whole bunch of kids. Now, remember, he already has a son named Adonis, and now he may be having a child with somebody else. That makes him a dad of two kids. Now, I want you guys to know that this rumor has been going around since about May of 2021. And I want you to consider that there have been many other articles written about this, not just one, not just two, but many. And then there was an article that came out with the name of the person that people are, are assuming his baby mother is. So the person that his baby mother may be is a Jamaican singer who's very popular, made a lot of popular music. Here's an article clipping. Uh, you can see it there. And effectively what's going on is a lot of people assume that this is the woman that will be carrying his child or carry the child or birth the child, all right? So all of the field, everything is set. Everything right now is set for this to be the album where he announces the child. Now, Drake and his ghostwriters like to make things really unassuming. So there may be a lyric in a song that people have to look a little deeper at to get this information. But I believe, I believe that this is the case. Now, I would love if this video were to be, you know, the catalyst for this theory and for it to be true. I can only imagine. I mean, if this is my premiere on national television, here's my best side profile, all right? But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I just think that this theory is interesting in consideration to the album cover, some of the, you know, different types of rumors that have been going around. I think it makes a lot of sense. Now, you tell me in the comments below, does this make sense? Do you think it's possible Drake has a baby on the way? Do you think that he possibly has another child? Who knows? You let me know. But anyway, I did tell you guys that this channel is sponsored by ExpressVPN, so let's talk about that real quick. So ExpressVPN is a fantastic service. They sponsor this channel because, well, they love the conspiracy aspects. They love all that stuff. So they decided to give you guys the opportunity to get some discounts and some great rates on some online security. So if you would like to encrypt your data or maybe you want to see a Netflix show that's in another country that you can't see here in America, then you can use ExpressVPN to do that. Now, I also want to mention that there is a 30-day money-back guarantee for anybody who gets whatever service, whether it's the bottom to the top, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can just return it with no issues. All right, so I do appreciate you guys' support. This channel is growing. I'm trying to get it there. I've been doing this for a while, so I appreciate you guys still being here and still watching. Anyway, I love you all, and I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.